And so that kind of brings me to where I believe that we are right now. And I'm going to take you to a scripture. So if you want to open your Bibles to wherever the Holy Spirit shows you. It's a prophetic weekend, okay. We're going to actually go to the book of Esther. I'm going to be in Esther chapter 9. But before you put the scripture up, let me say this. Um, I, it was, the date was June 15th this year. And I have, I have dreams, I have visions, and the Lord speaks to me just very openly at, at times. And so on June the 15th, my husband and I were ministering in Oklahoma we had a full day of ministry, went to bed that night. I rolled over in bed at 3.30 in the morning, and as I rolled over and was semi-awake, I heard the voice of the Lord say to me, you've now entered the time of the hanging of Haman's ten sons. How many think God is serious? God is very serious right now, okay? And so, of course, that refers to um, the, the book of Esther, and of course, if you've read the book of Esther, I'm going to help you to maybe read it a little differently, but let me just leave it there. We know that Haman was the enemy of God's people, the enemy of the Jews. He wrote a decree of death and destruction against God's, uh, against God's people, and God overturned that decree and gave the people of God power over their enemy instead, okay? So I'm, that's kind of the, it in a nutshell, and I'm going to kind of go into that in just a minute. But let me say this, is that when that happened, it was about the overthrow or the overturning of a decree of death and destruction. That was on June 15th. A little over about nine days later, June the 24th, Roe versus Wade was overturned by the Supreme Court in the United States of America. I thought y'all would celebrate that a little bit more than you did. Oh, by the way, by the way, very interesting fact about today. June, I mean, uh, we're, what are we, September? September the 9th, 1776, in the Second Continental Congress, this nation was officially named the United States of America. Today is the anniversary of us being named the United States of America. Do you know that our very name is a decree that, that echoes in the, in the halls of hell? It, it flies in the face of everything the enemy wants to do against us. Our name is the United States of America. And in every state in this union, God declares that he is going to have a remnant people that have the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords at their head. And God will have a turning around for this nation. America shall be saved. And for from every nation, there will be a remnant that arises. Amen? The United States of America. Amen? Amen. And so, so when, so when uh, I began to, to look at the fact that Roe versus Wade got overturned, we all know that abortion didn't magically go away. Right. That's right. But what it did do is it destroyed a codified blood altar on the national level of our, of our nation. Y'all understand, there was a blood sacrifice altar that was legal yeah. at the highest level of our nation. When that broke apart, it actually disempowered demonic spirits that have held people in place, laws in place, that have held blinders on people's eyes in place. And I'm just telling you, it has begun the unraveling of wickedness. The very thing that I've shared with you has begun to unravel, but we've got to pray. Now is the work. Now is the time that we've got work to do. Amen. So just a little over a week later, the Lord actually spoke that to me. And so I went back to the book of Esther and I began to study that. And I want to read you out of, out of the, the message translation. I just like the way that it actually says it here. Esther chapter 9 and verse 26 says this. But when Queen Esther intervened with the king, he gave written orders, that's a decree, he gave written orders that the evil scheme that Haman... And let me just stop here and just say, his name is Haman, not Haman. <laughs> Y'all stop casting out the spirit of Haman, okay? That is our name, okay? So leave us alone, all right? His name is Haman, okay? The written orders of the evil scheme that Haman, 
And let me stop here again and say that in Hebraic culture, every time you say the word Haman, the people have been trained to boo and hiss. So we're going to try that, okay? Tonight, you have permission to boo and hiss. I'll know that you're not booing and hissing me. Okay, but let's try it. He, the king gave written orders that the evil scheme that Haman, that Haman had worked out should boomerang back on his own head. I'm here to announce to you tonight that it is boomerang season in the kingdom of God. It is boomerang season tonight, and it is said, that is, it said he and his sons were hanged on the gallows. Now, if you will remember, they built those gallows to hang the Jews on. Let me say over the last several years, God has given the enemy enough rope to hang himself. And God is saying all his evil schemes are going to boomerang back on his own head. Now, let me help you understand a few things about the book of Esther. Number one, Esther is not the story. It's not a Cinderella story about a little orphan girl that got to marry a mighty king. That is not what this story is about. Okay? The story of Esther is the story of the modern day, spirit-filled, Holy Ghost-empowered church, the ecclesia that he is raising up. Now let me say that for generations, there was another church. Her name was Vashti. This region has been controlled by Vashti. One that took the name, but was disobedient to the king. Empowered by the religious spirit, the church in this area has worn the name of church, but has looked nothing like the bride of Christ. And what happened? A point in time came where the king stripped the crown off of Vashti. I'll tell you, there is a stripping away of the crown of authority off the Vashti church. I'm going to call it the apostate church. A church that believes in having a form but no power. God's very serious about reformation. We're in a season of reformation. We're in a season of an Esther church being positioned. An Esther church rising to answer a call. An Esther church who's willing to purify herself. That's willing to prepare herself. That's willing to go before the throne of the king and wait until his scepter of favor is released. And that when he says to us, what is it that you want? We're wise enough not just to say, God, could you please pay my bills this month? But we're wise enough to ask God for nations and for generations. How many believe that there's a church that's understanding what it is that we're called to do? What we've been positioned for? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Vashti yes. is the old dead religious system. Yes. Oh, they call themselves Christians. I'm not here to pick on any one of them. I'm just saying, I don't care if you called yourself a charismatic in times past. If you're denying the power of the Holy Ghost, the crown is coming off. Yes. 